Hey guys, this is Developer Dude, and in this video, <clears throat> this is our part one of Tesla project. And in this video, we will create this header with this effect, this hovering effect. So let's get started. First, we have to create three first two files. So let's create them. Here I have created two files as Tesla.html and Tesla.css. And here our project file. This is our project which I have created and which we are going to create. So here is the page. Now write codes here. <coughs> okay. Now change the document title. Tesla.com. Okay. Now add font or some CDN. Most important. This is for the icons which we will import from this website font awesome. Now create our another link tag. Not for a style sheet. First attach the style sheet. Write Tesla.css. Okay. Now again create a link tag here with icon. And now here paste the icon link. I will give you in the link in the description. I will give you a link in the description from where you can copy and paste. Okay. Now control save. Let's check this out. So here it is the tesla.com and the icon image. Now let's start creating this header. So, so let's start it. Here is the body tag. Inside of body tag create a header tag. Now in the header tag create a div image and in the source paste the link of logo. Control C and control V. Okay. Now create another div, not give a nav with class name middle. So create a class middle. <coughs> now anchor tag. How many anchor tags? So let's one, two, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so nine anchor tag. Nine. Oh. An anchor tag hash copy and paste it. Control C two three four five six seven eight nine. Okay. Now write there model S model. So here's the name. Give this menu anchor tag and an ID. <coughs> ID name menu. Okay. Now create another div with class name over. So okay. Now save it. Check this out. Let's check out. Okay, so this is so big. Tesla. Now write CSS code. We have already linked the CSS file. Okay. Now list style. None. Second text decoration. None. Padding. Zero. Margin. Zero. And uh, font family. This one. Okay. Now body. Box sizing for the box. And overflow again. Header. Dev image. Width. 120 pixels. And height. 15 pixels. Cursor pointer. And uh, margin top 20 pixels. Okay. Now design the header. Write the code, margin right, 10 pixel, z index 1, and margin left, 50 pixel, justify content, space between, position fixed, And display flex. Control save. 
now header a targeting all the header tag so line height line height is to be 10 pixel per pixel okay <coughs> adding <coughs> 0 15 pixel white space no wrap text align center display nine block and font size 15 pixel border radius 10 pixel cursor pointer font width 600 and color RGB 34 34 34 okay control save let's check this out so here it is how it's looking not looking well so now target the class middle and margin left 20 pixel sorry for this 200 pixel and uh, position relative height 50 pixel display flex and align item center and the other thing is z next five okay save let's check this out and here it is you can see now we have to give this area after solar panel but here is no gap so target this tag target this anchor tag only middle a and child six padding right 180 pixels that's it and here it is so our our ready our header is ready no any over effect so let's create this so first create the overing for now targeting over class div dot hover background color is to be rgba 128, 128, 128, and 0 0.15. Okay. Now, position attribute z index minus 1, opacity 0, okay. opacity 0, transition. Now, the transition of 0 0.7. Okay. Border radius 10 pixel, height 30 pixel, and uh, display in line block. Okay. Control save. One control save. Now let's see here. It's not so because we didn't define the width of it. So let's define the width. It is 100 pixel. Control save. Refresh. So here it is. Our hover div. Okay. So remove this because we want to show it when we hover over on this anchor tag. So right down here. Now right. <coughs> got middle a and style one. And when it got over, then dot hover means after this. Which div have a hover class will have one opacity and left is zero and width of 85 pixels. Save it. Let's check this out. So here it is. Let's hover over it. Okay, so it's showing. Now when you hover here, nothing is happening. So this is. So let's do this with other anchor tags. Now for another one, Control C, Control V. Now setting one, opacity one, left ninety pixels, and width eighty five pixels. Okay. Now again, width is to be eighty pixels. 
3 capacity 1 left 175 pixel and width 85 pixel okay let's check this out refresh and look at this wow it's working so we just write for three okay it's working successful so now let's write for rest of the anchor tag four now capacity one left 260 pixel and uh, width 85 pixels again control V write down the five opacity one left how much for the left this should be 347 pixels I'm just calculating it and uh, the width should be 98 pixels okay now for the sixth item write there opacity one again and left 450 pixels width <coughs> width is to be 105 pixels now for the seventh one opacity one and uh, left 790 pixel and width 85 pixel okay Control V, 8, opacity, 1, left, 790 pixels, and width, 60 pixels. Now, <clears throat> the last one, 9th, opacity, 1, left, 875 pixels and width 65 pixels save this let's sorry control r so let's hover over it model s model 3 model x y solar roof solar panels shop op shop which shop okay something is wrong let's check out our code so 7 seven six five four three two one everyone is here then what's wrong with the code let's check this okay so this is left 79 pixel left 79 pixels so here we did a mistake so there should be 723 pixels control save refresh and here it is solar panel shop account menu account is so small shop is so big so change this again width so seven is width is to be 60 okay 60 pixels and uh, this one 85 control save refresh solar panel shop account menu okay <coughs> you can see so here we if you enjoyed this video then give a thumbs up and if you didn't subscribe the channel please do subscribe Goodbye.